an effort to raise awareness and reduce the stigma of breast cancer through education on symptoms and treatment. Breast cancer is usually common after the age of 40. If it occurs under 40, it is more rapid in its progression and the operation succeeds better in this case. We should know carcinoma of breast is more common in developed western countries. In African American women, it is more aggressive and it is less common in Japan and Taiwan. So what is the genetic predisposition? Mutation in tumor suppressor genes BRCA. Certain food habits which are rich in phytoestrogen reduces the risk of cancer. Whereas the alcohol intake increases the risk for breast cancer. The risk is high in nulliparous women, women who has never given birth. Also in women who attain early menarche and late menopause. And of course obesity, the main risk factor for any disease. Consumption of oral contraceptive pills for more than 5 years. Whereas childbearing and breastfeeding reduce the, the risk of breast carcinoma. What are the clinical manifestations of breast cancer? So before that, let's talk about anatomy of breast. It has lobes and the lobes contains glands which secretes milk, passes through the ducts to the nipple. And the breast lies over the pectoral fascia which is lining the pectoralis major muscle. Coming to breast cancer, we have two main types. Cancer which occurs in the lobe of the breast is called lobar carcinoma and which occurs in the ducts and glands they are called as ductilar and glandular carcinoma. It can spread in two ways. The cancer can spread to the deeper plane infiltrating the pectoral fascia and pectoralis major muscle it may spread superficially to the chest wall in either case the mobility of the breast would be restricted so what is the reason behind for the adherence of breast in carcinoma we have a space between the breast tissue and pectoral fascia called retromammary space filled with loose area or tissue which aids free mobility of breast in any direction. In cancer, infiltration of this space restricts the movement of the breast. Next common sign of breast cancer is skin dimpling. We can see dimpling over the breast and that is because of infiltration of cancerous tissue into a specialized ligament called suspensory ligament of Cooper. We should know this ligament anchors the skin and the tissue of the breast to the deeper pectoral fascia. When this ligament gets infiltrated it pulls the attached skin inwards which results in skin dimpling. Next common sign of breast cancer is nipple retraction. What is the reason behind the retraction of nipple? So we know 15 to 20 lactiferous ducts opens into the nipple when the cancerous tissue infiltrates the lactiferous duct it pulls the skin inwards it draws the nipple inwards which results in nipple retraction here we can see when the lactiferous ducts gets infiltrated it draws the nipple inwards resulting in retraction 
few d orange appearance and this is the well known finding in breast cancer what is the reason for this typical orange peel appearance over the breast skin in cancer so we know the breast is drained by numerous lymphatic vessels just beneath the areola we have sub areolar plexus of sapi and when this lymphatic drainage is obstructed in breast cancer obstruction of the flow would result in the edematous skin in the swollen skin we have hair follicles and opening of sebaceous cyst which gives typical pudy orange appearance in advanced cases it can spread through blood hematogenous spread mainly to the bones and it can metastasize to distant organs mainly liver lungs and transillomic spread to the ovary and so on and there is a method which plays major role in early detection of breast cancer and that is bse breast self examination which is usually done in lying down position with arm raised with a mattress support behind and it is done once a month just after the menstruation the second most effective screening method is mammography it is a plain x ray of soft tissue using low voltage what is the goal of mammography early detection of breast cancer through detection of microcalcifications and what is the procedure breast is compressed parallel plate compression is given holding the breast still which even out the thickness of breast tissue and normally two films are taken cranio caudally and medio laterally this is to detect the microcalcification which is a sign of malignancy the assumption is that early detection will improve outcomes mammography is a common screening method since it is relatively fast and widely available so we should have awareness over breast carcinoma and if you like this video please like share subscribe and comment